time to answer the question on everyone's lips. What is Space Crew? I'm a crew in space! <clears throat> well, fans will certainly be able to draw parallels between Sci-Fi Bomber Crew! I think we've established that it takes the core gameplay from Bomber Crew and brings it into a space setting. Yes, there's all the drama, excitement, and heroic moments, all the customization, micromanagement, and let's face it, head-pounding stress. But there's much more to it than that. This is a sequel that's a step up in every way. And it quite frankly blows Bomber Crew straight into the stratosphere. So, just to set the scene here. The solar system is under attack from a menacing alien force known as the Phasmids. As a member of the United Defense Force, it's your duty to protect the solar system and bring peace to our galaxy. Every good space adventure starts here. The UDF Athena Station. This is where you'll upgrade and customize your ship, manage your crew, and choose from one of a variety of missions. You could be sent on a rescue mission, asked to investigate strange activity, or even chase down a bounty on a notorious Phasma champion. <clears throat> uh, so different missions have different levels of risk, so make sure you're prepared by visiting the hangar before you start. Using credits earned in your previous missions, you can upgrade your engine, weapons, shields, and medical capabilities. Upgrade your equipment too. You're going to need those fire extinguishers and escape pods. While you're tinkering, give your ship an intimidating new paint job. Show that you mean business. And please change the name. Even the most OP ship is only as good as its crew. And you'll be pleased to hear that that's down to you, too. Choose your recruits, assign them classes, subclasses, and equip them for the missions at hand. Each outfit has its own pros and cons. So think practically. It's not just about looking good. The world of Space Crew is vast and full of dangers. Your mission could take you to familiar locations, or somewhere a little more terrifying. But you'll always have a choice. Take the easy route, which is longer but safer, or go the quick and dangerous difficult route. Whatever you decide, this is where we get into the nitty gritty. Your crew won't do anything without your say so, and you'll need to manage your priorities carefully. If you're under attack, send some gunners to your turrets and tag the enemies to fight back. You're bound to take some damage, so make sure you've got someone putting out fires and handling repairs. Let the phasmids get close enough, though, and they may board. In which case, you'd better hope you added weapons racks close by. If you find yourself getting overrun, remember that each crew member's classes come with special abilities. Weapons officers will focus fire on tagged enemies. Engineers can replenish your shields instantly, and comms officers can call in fighter support when you're outnumbered. Still struggling? As you complete missions and level up your crew, you'll unlock more powerful abilities. Eventually, you'll be able to assign second classes to your crew. Unless they die. <sighs> then they're dead. Yep, sorry, permadeath is a real threat, so it's just as important to know when to give up and run away as it is to successfully complete your mission. Saying that, sometimes it's worth letting a few rookies shuffle off their mortal coil for that sweet, sweet loot. However things go, you'll eventually end up back at Athena Station, be it with a full crew, skeleton crew, or no crew. If anyone managed to get to the escape pods, you may be able to rescue them on another mission. But is it really worth the risk? Ponder that over a drink in the mess hall. This crew management and risk-reward balancing is at the heart of what Space Crew is. Master that and start to uncover the mystery behind the Phasmid invasion in a far-reaching single-player campaign. Oh! So it's like Bomber Crew, but in space? Yes, if Bomber Crew had aliens, black holes, warp gates, space battles, EMPs, freaking laser beams.